Is that right? Dumanian. Dumanian. Oh, close enough. Well, that was, that's all right. Is, is it French? Armenian. Armenian. Yes. Oh, cool. I love Dumanian that. Armenian. I love it. Yeah, yeah I love yeah. that. Great name. <laughs> well, Thank you me. have been in the industry for a really long time, and I say that with the utmost no, respect. absolutely. Almost 30 years in the mm-hmm. food and beverage industry. You've done everything from, um, you know, fast casual to working in hospitals, and now you run the, the food and beverage program here at Boyne Mountain, which is quite an operation. You were just telling me that you oversee over 350 employees. Correct. That's their typical staff to, to take care of the 12 to 14 food and beverage outlets that we do run on property. And uh, we have a great group of leaders on the team to make it happen every day and a lot of great team members and privileged to be able to lead the team. Well, I think they're lucky to have you. One thing I like to think about is how much um, slope side dining has changed over 30 years. What we maybe, you know, experienced when we were kids where it was the cafeteria and you just got the burger. It is so much more um, nowadays at Boyne Mountain. Absolutely. And we've diversified our F&B operations to bring in multiple food trucks. We have Happy Taco here, Waffle Cabin, National Coney Island, the Point Food Truck, which is from Somerset as well as uh, different operations such as 40 Acres and Trophy Room and Everett's and Stein Erickson's, the Eagle's Nest. Uh, and then I'm we, tired just <laughs> listening to you describe all yeah. your property. <laughs> and then we have, still have the cafeteria, which is called a food court now, which is smaller. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are looking for a more intimate experience. They're looking for the smaller outlets. And with our current times, a lot of people are looking to eat outside, too. So we have the back 40, which we've created, behind 40 acres, which we have uh, what we call Alpenhut. It's a 10 by 10 bar with a draft system in it. And we have live entertainment out there from 4 to 7 on Saturdays to create a little party atmosphere, a couple food trucks back there. You so have a couple really, igloos I saw, a couple we, picnic tables. Yep. Yeah. And we rent the igloos out for dining experiences at 40 acres. So we've really tried to create that outside experience. And the same goes for the Mountain Express Corner, which is right across from the Six Man. We have a DJ there from 3 to 4, or excuse me, from 12 to 4 every Saturday. We have a bar there, plus the Mountain Express Deli. So we're really trying to create those different experiences for people to come in and have a great experience scheme, but even a better experience with food and beverage and not have the same thing at all the locations. Mike, those that are listening right now um, that have been to Boyne know where you're located. They know all about these food programs and what you offer. But what about the first time or someone that's never been to Boyne? Can you explain where we're located exactly and kind of uh, if you've never been skiing or to a resort, what that experience is like? Absolutely. We were located in Boyne Falls, Michigan, right off of 131. Uh, pull in and you come into the resort and you're going to see multiple lodging facilities here as well as you'll see the ski, ski hills front and center. So part of your experience, if you've never been skiing before, we have great instructors here. And I highly recommend that you sign up for a lesson when you come. And we have a great ski rental program, too. So if you're trying it for the first time, you don't need to buy equipment. We can provide all that for you, and you can have a great experience. And we have a lot of green and blue runs that you can utilize, too, for those first-time skiers. Yeah, you'll see the mountain as you're coming up. 131. I mean, oh, it's, it's lit up and it's right there. And it's, yeah, it's so easy to, to get to Boyne and, and experience all the things that you, you have going on here. I want to jump back a minute. You were mentioning some of your, the food trucks that you have on site mm-hmm. and you said one was called the waffle cabin. Yeah. Talk to me about this goose. Oh <laughs> man. The waffle cabin is great. And they actually, it's a different waffle. It's, they use a dough. And it's it's different than a, a Belgian waffle that would be a battery pour in a waffle. It's actually a dough, and they press the dough into the into the um, t- press, mm-hmm. and it's wonderful. It's sugary. It's great. You can get chocolate over the top of it, and mm. it, it's a franchise <laughs> that there's waffle cabins all over the United States. How did I not know about I this guy? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, they're, and they're primarily at a lot of ski resorts, like Emerson uh, Meyer, who runs this. Uh, has one at Crystal Mountain, one at Boyne Mountain. So, oh. so he and he does a wonderful job. He's a great partner, and uh, he puts out a great product. Well, you brought out uh, some food and some beverage. Let's start with the beverage. Well, start. What do you want to start, Amy? I think we should start with Taste, Taste of the, the Week. week. <laughs> and this week we're going to have two different tastes. We're going to hit both sides of the. Um, I guess, drink aisle in a sense, (laughs) beer and wine. And what I love, um, what I just found out is that here at the mountain, at Boy Mountain, not only do you have your very own um, Michigan beer, but you also have a very special wine that's made just for you guys here at the mountain. Correct. It's called, it's from Donati Family Vineyards, and it's called... uh, 
um, it's a claret called Chalet Edelweiss, mm-hmm. and we do a private label with them, and we've produced that primarily for the when we did it was to put in our new Chalet Edelweiss in the rooms to sell in the rooms. But we've taken that wine since it's such a great Bordeaux blend, really palatable. Uh, really nice juice. We have put that in all our restaurants by the bottle and by the glass. And you can purchase it in Das Cafe by the bottle or Mountain Express to take home with you as well. It's delicious. I, I think it's a it's it's a nice approachable wine. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's not too you know sulfuric mm-hmm. or, or, or harsh tannins or anything like that. It's just nice easy drinker. Absolutely, and part of it too is you know we looked at it as a partnership between two family owned companies behind the Donati family, which is. Uh, which is a family-owned uh, vineyard, and the Kircher family, which we're, we're a privately held uh, resort with multiple other resorts across the country. But taking a partnership with the two family-owned companies and putting on a great product that our guests can experience and they can take home with them as well. I yeah, like the take home part. Yeah, I do too. It's a great wine. <laughs> did you get me some to take home? How did you do that? <laughs> we can do that. Bag. Yeah, we can take care of that. We know people. Well, let's let's play to our strengths, John, and talk okay. about the other special um, thing that they have at Boyd yeah. Mountain, which is Everett's IPA. And you guys partner with Petoskey Brewing, our friends up there, to make this special beer. We do. And, and about seven, eight years ago, I, we met with uh, Petoskey Brewing. And we sat down and looked at a bunch of different IPAs, and we came up with what we were looking for. Then we, we got the formula down. We went and brewed the first batch with them, and we put, put the hop. We, we did everything, did the whole shot with them. Did you clean and the tanks after? I didn't have to clean the tanks. They didn't make me do that. But since we put it on property, we created our own IPA glass. So it's the only thing that's served in at Boyne Mountain is the IPA glass. Um, and it's gone off huge. It's our best-selling beer on property, and we have a lot of food and beverage outlets. We have it by draft, by the can, and also it's available at our Boyne Highlands Resort as well. Wow, that's I, I had a chance to experience this last night, and I was like, "Oh, this this is a great beer." What what is this again? And I didn't realize; I just stumbled upon it. And it, I'm like, "It's their own beer." I love it. Yeah, <laughs> you're like I've never heard of Everts IPA I know, before. I, that's, what the that's heck? why I got it because I'm like, going, "You know, I need to try this. What is this?" And then I'm like, "Oh wait, it's their own beer. I love it." Very well, good. I think it's that attention to detail and being uh, truly creative in what you're offering your guests that sets Boynton Mountain apart. Thank you. Thank you. And I think that's one of the things we really try to do is every outlet we try to diversify and make a little different and be unique. And our team takes a lot of pride in menu designer, executive chef Jeff Minkwick does a wonderful job with his culinary team. And that's a big part of it because creating menus and coming up with things that are trending in the industry and trying to stay on top of that part of it and really meeting the guest needs and what we have to remember everyone's on vacation they're not always eating healthy they're looking for good food they're on vacation having a great time i'm burning calories on that slope that's right you burn (laughs) calories on the slope so you're good or you burn calories in the water park or tubing or snowshoeing or (laughs) any of those and one of the other experiences we do is the fondue or excuse me the uh, summit to stein snowshoe dinner Oh. And I believe that's happening tonight for, for a group. So it's really cool. You go up to the top of Hemlock, you ride your lift, you come down Cold Springs, and you end up in Stein Erickson's for our prime rib and shrimp buffet mm. for dinner. So really cool experience that we've created. And we try to find all those different experiences we can create on the property to make it unique for our guests because skiing's great, it's wonderful, but people love to eat and drink. We sure do. We, we sure can do. get behind that. <laughs> Folks, if you want to see the video, we did a video, quick video of some of the food and the beer and the wine. You can check that out on our Facebook page. Just go to facebook.com, search for Behind the Men. So, Amy, this week we have... Our taste of the week. Which are? <laughs> which is the Chateau Edelweiss, the Claret wine that is specially made for Boyne Mountain, as well as Everett's IPA that is brewed in conjunction with Petoskey Brewing. You can only find it here at Boyne Mountain. Mike Dumanian, thank you so much for joining us on Behind the Mitten. You're welcome. It's my pleasure to be here. Have a great day. All right, Gonzo, where are we going to be next week? We, we don't, don't know. know. But stay tuned to Behind the Mitten to find out. We really don't know. You've been listening to Behind the Mitten with John Gonzalez and Amy Sherman. Follow the show on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Behind the Mitten. The executive producer is Phil Tower and production by Bill Berkshire. Theme song by Mustard Plug, Beer Song, 